Hey, what is up guys, Archihacks here. So today we're gonna to take a look at creating realistic looking glass using V-Ray. I'll show you how to create this beautiful glass pavilion in the forest. All the glasses have double reflections. There's a very thin mullion line between the glasses. So let's get started. Okay, so this is how our scene looks like in Rhino before we got started. The pavilion is a simple box with an opening to one side. To the other side, it's kind of surrounded by these um, winter trees. The pavilion is populated with these 3D people. And you can download these from our website in the description below. First off, one common mistake that you might see in beginner's model is just a simple plane representing the glass. So let me just try creating that plane and I'll choose vertical. And I'll let it span all the way across. If you're using the V-Ray Next, it comes with a very handy collection of materials. And they're actually really well set up, so you can almost use them outside the box. So for today's demonstration, I'm just going to scroll down all the way to the glass material, simple glass, with no additional settings. One thing I'm going to enable is the reflection IOR. What this allows us to do is to control the amount of reflection that our glass has. So with that in mind, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to our plane. So right click on the material and apply to selection. So once that is done, we can try um, hitting render. So as you can see, by default, it doesn't really show anything interesting. Um, so one reason for this might be that the plane is flipped. So I'm going to type in the command flip and try rendering again. Now it, the glass object actually has some sort of reflection, but you can also see that it gets dark pretty quickly and doesn't really show anything. So there are a couple people behind the glass. As you can see, the people, they, although there are two people, you can only see the first one. So behind this glass, as you may remember, there are two people. So the reason why this is happening is because the way V-Ray understands material. So when there's a single plane, it kind of indicates the beginning of the glass. Since it's a single plane, there's basically no end to this piece of glass. So what V-Ray thinks is that this is just a solid piece of glass that extends almost infinitely. And that is why the, um, the color and the reflection and all that is just multiplied throughout. So what we actually have to do is to set the thickness of the glass. So currently, this is just a single plane, so I can type in the command extrude surface. Now you might be wondering what is the thickness we should be using? And the simple answer is that we should use the actual glass you want to represent. So in order to do that, you might want to do a little bit of research. So for today, I pulled out this um, glass frame provider, Cascadia's drawings from their website, and you can get some accurate dimensions of typical glass panels. So for this one, I just measured the thickness of the glass and it gives us 0.18 inches, which is roughly around 5 millimeters. So I'll come to Google and type in 1.87, was it? And as you can see, it's around 5 millimeters. So I'm just going to set the glass thickness to about 5 millimeters. Now we'll try hitting render again. It seems like the glass material is lost. So we'll go back to V-Ray and apply the glass material again. Now let's try rendering it. Okay. Immediately, you can already see that the glass looks a lot better. You can see all the way through to the third person in the interior. And now you have a pretty good reflection of the person outside as well. But now, one of the issues is that the glass is still a little bit too transparent. And the solution to that may could be the setting in the uh, glass material, but also it could also be that we're just lacking the number of glass members. So as you can see from this drawing, there are actually two pieces of glass. Typically in apartment or residential context, it's more common to use um, double glazing. So the glass materials are same thickness, but they're spaced apart by another 0.67 inches. So I'll type in 0.62 
seven, and that's around 16 millimeters. So what I'm going to do in Rhino is actually just going to copy the pane of glass and move it along by 16 millimeters. Now in plan, that would look just like this, kind of similar to the drawing provided by Cascadia. And now we'll try rendering this instead. One of the added benefits of using double pane glass is that you now get this faint double reflection that is a lot more realistic. The, the people from inside actually doesn't have any of that second reflection because the light is penetrating straight through. And this is what we commonly see in residential building gla glazing. Yeah, to me that looks like a right amount of reflection and transparency. So we can now go ahead and create some mullions in between. And that is quite simple. All I'm really going to do is to scale these down to the correct size. Use scale 1D to scale the length of the glazing down to about 1.5 meters. So that is about 1500 millimeters. And I'm going to simply array this a number of times, but I'm going to add one centimeter gap between them to kind of simulate the caulking in between. So I'll type in array. In X, we'll have one. Let's start with 10 in Y direction and one in Z. And for spacing, I'll be using 1510 millimeters in between. So in plan, it would look sort of like that. And let's try rendering this instead. And there we go. There's our perfect glazing with double reflection and nice and thin mullion lines. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know what you guys would like to see next. And if you want to get access to these people or tree models, make sure to check out our Gumroad site on our description below. Thanks again for tuning in. This is Archie Hacks, and I'll see you guys next time.